So you see the connection of manifesting the power of God with faith. Without faith, you can't manifest God's power. Because when God speaks, He speaks in His own ability and capacity and ability. Every word of God carried God Himself. That is why He said He has exalted Himself, His word more than His name. And the name of God has risen the dead. If the name of God can give life, how much more His word? That he said he has exalted more than his name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God is power. The word of God is creative. The word of God is life. The word of God is yea and amen. But to you personally, the word of God is not yea and amen. The word of God is not power. The word of God is not life. The word of God. Is not here and amen until you you believe. Until you believe. That is why it is said that every day is the last day. But the day you believe, the day you make up your mind to make it happen has become your day. For every word God has spoken to you to according to heaven that it is done. Why? God pronounced the end from the beginning. The moment God told Abraham that his descendants will be given the land of Canaan, it was done. It was organized. It was arranged. It has been arranged. All that happened no matter what, no matter the matter that will happen, it has been arranged. The, the duty of the children of Israel, their main duty is to believe. What God is, what has God said to you? What have you heard that God has said to you? Do you believe? If you believe, what are you doing about it? Because any faith that holds God absolutely responsible to do everything is an irresponsible faith. There's a part for you to play to make that thing you believe to come to pass. To make that, that thing you have heard that God has commanded to come to pass. Because God commanded it and you are doing nothing it will not, does not mean it will come to pass. Until you cooperate with heaven, there are things God will take out, must take out of you to bring His word to come to pass in your life. There are some attitude and character that you must that must be separated from you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who said it in and it come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? A lot of us, we have faith on the wrong things and hence, we have wounds all over in our lives. A lot of us are like Jonah. Jonah have faith to do the opposite of what God has commanded him. God said, Jonah, to Nineveh, Jonah, enter a ship going to Tarshish. The opposite direction of Nodifi. And it came to pass because Jonah was in the ship going the wrong, going to the wrong direction where God has not set him. Jonah had faith for the wrong things. He had faith to disobey God. A lot of us we are strong will to disobey God. Why not? Why not stop wasting your energy? Why not stop wasting that your faith? Because it's not faith. Any faith that is not geared toward doing the will of God is not faith because it will never come to pass. Do not have faith to go to Tashish because but God sent him to any faith. So the faith did not work. Instead of God to make the faith to walk, the, his faith begin to destroy him. His faith begin to swallow him. He begin to have wounds. In faith. So faith is not faith until it is in the will of God. Faith is not faith until it is commanded by God. Faith is not faith until it is under the purview of what God said it is good. 
it was good that, that Jonah